Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool, truly. Learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome, welcome, Rao Shamrocks. Thanks for joining us in the Shamrock News. We appreciate all the people voting for the Shamrockers. We'll have those results for you uh, next week. But for now, let's kick this one off. I'm Rylan, a.k.a. I don't have one. And I'm Kai, a.k.a. Live a Little. We're going to kick it to our shook drawers so that they can award our first Barnes & Noble gift cards of the year. Attention Rao Middle School! It's time for our first shock drawing of the year. You've been reading and you've been submitting your shrooks. And now it is time to see who has won our Barnes & Noble gift card. And so first, from sixth grade, we've got... Drum roll please! Will G from sixth grade from Mr. Tate's classroom with the lives we cost. Good job. Good job. <laughs> From seventh grade, we've got drum roll, please. We have Carlos All. From seventh grade, oh, yeah. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. <laughs> Woo! Last straw. <laughs> yeah. And finally, our eighth grade winner is. Oh Lord. <laughs> Juliana Whistler from 8th grade in Miss Eastman's classroom. Perfect by Natasha Friend. Those are our wonderful winners. These three students can come and see Mr. Dix to receive their $10 Barnes & Noble's gift card. If you, yes you, want a chance to win a gift card like this, make sure you are finishing those books and then passing those AR quizzes. To earn a shrook. <laughs> Thank you, Wow, Shooken. I don't know where I was going with that. No, wait. No, Peace. no, sh Shamrockins. Why are you tapping my mouth? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for reading Round Middle School. Hey, Shamrocks. Next week is Spirit Week. Monday is Color Wars. Eighth is Purple. Seventh is Blue. Sixth is Orange. And staff is Yellow. Tuesday is Twin Day. Wednesday is Hat Day. Thursday is Wear Green for St. Paddy's Day. And Friday is Pajama Day. See you next week, Shamrocks. We'd like to take a second to honor our classified staff at Rao Middle School. We have a special teacher here we would like to announce. Miss Holgraves. Uh, thank you for all that you do to help our school community stick together. You rock. This week is Classified Staff Appreciation Week. The classified staff are the unsung heroes of Round Middle School. They help us check out our library books. They work with us in the classrooms. They translate text. They communicate with people in our community. They answer our questions and even more. Hi, Rao Middle School. They listen to us and they help our school function on a daily basis. I want to give a thank you to all of our classified staff in the building. Thank you for all that you do. I feel like a lot of times we focus on like the teachers as the, the leaders of the classroom, but those instructional assistants and all the other classified staff who are in the rooms helping out, 
are making such a big difference and helping out so many of our students. Thank you so much. Hi, Misty Marcello here. Just wanted to shed some love on our classified staff. Um, our lunch ladies who feed our students every day. Uh, Miss Shaw, who is like an organization queen. Miss Burke, who keeps everybody in line. We could not run this school without you. So thank you so much. I would just like to give a huge shamrock shout out to all of our classified staff members here at Morale. They do so much for our building, keeping our building clean, keeping us fed, taking care of so many of our needs, helping us in our classes, helping us when we're in the office, helping us when they're in health room, all over the building. Thank you so much. Morale would not be as great of a place as it is without you guys. Appreciate all the classified staff. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of the work you do goes kind of unnoticed, and you know, I think this is a day and week to appreciate, um, you know, what what classified staff mean to the school. Um, kind of helps everyone stay afloat, so it helps students um, you know, get what they need done in class. And I uh, just want to give you guys a shout out. Really appreciate you. And um, yeah. Without our classified staff, Brown Middle School wouldn't be able to make it through a single day. So let's take some time today and the remainder of the week and the rest of the year to show some appreciation for our classified staff. Submit those selfies for our Faces of Rap project. It's something, something, something. <laughs> Rylan, what are you doing? I don't know, I just wanted to be included in this sketch. Our Community Connections Club is going to be putting together two murals for our school. Our first mural is going to feature the art from the art contest. It will be collaged together to make a beautiful new piece of work. We're also going to be making a mural featuring the faces of Rao because we know that wearing masks this year has been tough. Masks keep us safe, but we've been denied an important way of connecting with each other. A group of staff and students want to remind Rao that each of our wonderful, unique faces are still here underneath our masks. With the Faces of Rao project, we will be collecting selfies so we can turn them into a collage mural to be hung in the school. Each picture will be printed and pasted together on one or more big mural so we can see our faces every day at school again. If you'd like your face included, take a selfie. Just make it truly you. We have the perfect snap uploaded at the Faces of Rao assignment on your grade level hub. If you don't want to take a new selfie, you can just use the school pictures we've already had taken. Just go to the assignment in your grade level hub and click the box indicating that you'd like to participate with your school picture. For more information, talk to Mr. Bolton in room 201. Track is just around the corner, folks. Let's make sure we're getting our physical sun and our forms in. Let's get ready! What is good, route runners, shamrock sprinters, and leprechaun leapers? Track season is just around the corner. The season will start on April 4th and end on May 26th. That means it's in eight, eight weeks. Over those eight weeks, you'll be practicing the beautiful spring sunshine after school from 4.15 to 5.30. As you prepare for multiple meets against the three other middle schools in the district. We've got events for everyone. From sprints to long distance to high jump to long jump to discus to shot put to turbo to javelin to hurdle. And we'll be going over these events over the next month or so to get people hyped to join. But first, everyone needs to get a physical before they can participate. If you got a physical earlier this year for cross country, you're all good to go. 
However, if you don't have a physical on file with your school and you'd like to participate in the track, you need to schedule one right now. We posted the physical form on our grade level hub. And we've also linked some locations where your family can go to get a sports physical. In addition, we posted a form to the grade, hub, <coughs> grade level hub and we'd love you to fill it out to show your interest level. We want a big team this year so we can go and compete against the district. So whether if you're looking to get into physical shape or you want an opportunity to hang out with some friends after school or if you want to try something new then track might be the right sport for you. If you have questions about your physical, please contact Mr. Hayes. Let's go running, Ralph! This is Shower Thoughts. I'm Finn, and I hope you like the show. If I were to drop a piece of bread on one side of the earth, and someone else dropped another piece of bread on the other side of the earth, does that make the earth a sandwich? Mm. If I were to make a bowl of macaroni and cheese, but forgot the cheese, is it still mac and cheese? that as an eraser. Are oranges called oranges because oranges are orange? Or are oranges orange because oranges are orange? Like I said in the beginning, I'm Finn and I hope you like the show. It's time for another segment of World Without. This time, in honor of Women's History Month, we're honoring an incredible woman whose inventions helped us hold our possessions. Women rock! I wonder what the world would be like without... I just wish I had a way to hold all of this stuff without it falling everywhere. Yeah, it's so frustrating. I just need something to put all this stuff in, but I don't want to use plastic because that's bad for the environment. In honor of Women's History Month, we'd like to tell you about an important woman in his of history. If you've ever used a paper bag, you can thank Margaret Maddie Knight, the 19th century most famous woman inventor. Born in York, Maine, Knight was most well known for a machine she built when she was 30, when she folded and glued paper to create a flat bottom paper bag. The idea was popular, so popular in fact, that a man stole the idea to patent for himself. Typical men. When Knight took him to court for patent interference, he argued that a woman could po not possibly understand the mechanical complexities. Knight won her case by providing proof that she designed the machine, earning herself the right to patent the machine. Over the course of her career, Knight invented over a hundred different machines and patented 20 of them, including a rotary engine, a shoe cutting machine, and a window frame with a sash. But if the true test of an invention is its staying power, then Knight's paper bag, still used today, is proof of her incredible gifts. Without Margaret E. Knight, I don't know how we'd ever carry on. On the last day before spring break, we'll be holding a staff versus students basketball tournament in the gym. Hey, where is a basketball player's favorite place to eat? Where? Dunkin' Donuts! Get out. <laughs> Yo, ballers, do you have some hoop skills you want to showcase against the teachers? Then get ready for the staff and students three-on-three -three tournament. On Friday, March 18th, the last day before spring break, the Shamrock News will be hosting a students for a staff three-on-three -three tournament. During all three lunches, staff members will be in the main gym waiting to take on students in some three-on-three -three basketball. Games will be up to five points and we'll be playing winners out. Once the teachers lose the game, then we'll ask for the next team of three to hit the court and get ready for their chance to win. 
order to participate, here's what you need to do. Just come down to the gym during your lunch and wait in line. If you have a team you want to play with, awesome. If not, we'll help you find other loan members so you can form a team together. So if you want to participate in some fun basketball before the break, come on down at lunch and join the tourney. If you want to just hang out and watch, we'll have the bleachers down so that you can do that as well. See you then, Brown Ballers! You know what really annoys me? At grocery stores. Those pens that are tied down on the right-handed side with a wire. Like, it is so annoying to write with them as a left-handed person. Like, because the wire gets all in the paper and it's just a mess. And then I go to complain about it because complaining is what I do, okay? And when I go to complain, one of my friends is just like, oh, well, it's not that bad. Okay, Barbara, maybe not for you, but for a left-handed person like me, it is so annoying. So why don't you take your right-handed self and try to write left-handed with one of those right-handed pens, right? I'd like to see you try. <sighs> Anyways, have a great day. We'll see you next time on the Shamrock News. Same Shamrock time. Same Shamrock place. Have fun, Have fun on spring break! And peace. I'm going to give a Shamrock shout out to Jeremy Larkin. I want to give a shamrock shout out to Aaron for making me this beautiful model of Earth sitting in my classroom. There's Earth. Beautiful model of Earth. That is a great model of Earth. I agree. I agree with that. I'm going to give a shamrock shout out to this water fountain because no one's ever in the halls apparently today. It works. That's why I'm giving it a shamrock shout out. I would like to give a shamrock shout out to uh, Cohen. Landon, Not Jasmine. Quentin. Here you go. Uh, I like to give a ah uh, ah. Uh, I, I would like Mike, Tony, Neri, and you. All right, go. All right, I want to give my shout shout out to Mike, Tony, Josue, and Neri because they're amazing people. All right. All right, Josue. There you go. This is our top here. Um. Go. All right. Want to give a shout right, shout give the shout out to. There. Are you? Give this to Ariana. <laughs> you have to. You have to. Uh, yeah, Ariana too. We are going to be. Shirking some drawing. I'm still testing this mic, I swear to God. What if I were Monday is color world. Co color war. Monday is color wars. And staff it. And leaning closely. What are we saying? Oh my God. more big mu murals. Sorry. We're also going to be making a mural featuring the faces of Raul because we know that wearing masks is a... Three, two... If you don't want to take a new... Sorry, the voice is str not stressing me out. Okay. Track season! <laughs> this is track season. <laughs> test, test, test. Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. Test, test, test. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Here. 
I did it. I'm gonna watch the footage. Okay. Does that work? What about a chair? Wait, no! Where did you what? What's the matter with a chair? Or the ceiling? The idea was popular. So <laughs> we're trying. Her, I hang out with Alyssa because I want friends. Okay? If she was like, if this was the movie Mean Girls, I'm like a girl that wears sweats and I can't sit with Alyssa on Fridays because we only wear sweats on Fridays. Okay? Yes, Regina George. Yes, Regina George. She's Regina. Harry Engine. Rotary, I think. Rotary? I don't know. Rotary. Yeah. I would like to give a shout out, Shamrock shout out to Miguel, Kaden, and uh, oh not Jesus, not Kaden, and Max, and Max. Okay, good job. Why do you have a lot of Shamrock shout outs? Or not? Literally. No, I'm not.